Hi guys, welcome back to the channel Jag here and in today's class we're going to continue with our math 10 content and we're going through how to find uh, the equation of the quadratic and this time the quadratic equation it's going to be in uh, the vertex form okay so the question says find the equation of the parabola with the vertex of 1 and 4 so let's try this example okay so I'm going to put the vertex here so everyone can see it the vertex is 1 and 4 okay so this time when you're looking for the equation of the quadratic, I have to put it into the vertex form, okay, of the quadratic. So it's going to be y equals a x minus 1 squared. So again, make sure you are changing the sign for the x point of the vertex and then plus 4. Okay, does everyone see that? Okay, so we're just plugging it into uh, the vertex form. Okay, and then it also gives you a point, okay, so this quadratic it has, is passing through the points 3 and 8. Okay, so I'm going to put my point here. So 3 and 8, okay? I'm just going to use the x and y uh, for the coordinate here. And I'm going to plug it back into my formula. All right, so the x, the y point is 8, like that. And the x point here is equal to 3. Okay, so it's going to be 3 minus 1 squared plus 4. Everyone see that? Okay. And again, I'm just solving for the A value. I'm trying, trying to see if this is going to be a vertical stretch or a vertical compression. All right. So 8 equals A. I'm going to do 3 minus 1, okay, which is 2 squared plus 4. Okay. So everyone should look really closely here. Okay. We're going to take the 8 to the other side. I'm going to subtract it here. So 8 minus 4 equals A. And 2 squared is just 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. So we'll put 4. I'm just going to take out this point here so we can see. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do now, I'm doing 8 minus 4, which is equal to 4. So 4 equals 8 times 4. It's all right if you put it in the brackets here. I'm going to divide by 4 on both sides so it cancels out. Okay. And a is 4 divided by 4, a is equal to 1, okay? But again, I have to make sure that I am restating, okay, uh, the actual equation at the very end, okay? So it's going to be, therefore, y equals 1, and it's x minus 1 squared plus 4, okay? So it's just like this, okay? This is actually uh, the final equation, and this equation is within the vertex form, Okay? Now say the question says I need to change this from the vertex form into the standard form. Okay, so let's take this out. So what we're going to do here, I'm just going to rewrite the equation. When you see x minus 1 whole squared, you're just writing x minus 1 two times. So I'm going to put y equals, we don't need to write the 1 here, okay? So x minus 1, x minus 1 plus 4. Okay, when the value of a is equal to 1 here, I know that this is neither a vertical stretch nor a vertical compression. So you could just leave it the same. Okay, so I wrote out the x minus 1 two times. You're going to use again the FOIL method. We're going to open up the brackets. So x times x here, so x squared. And when you do x times negative 1, it's negative 1x. One okay. And again, make sure when you do the FOIL method, you're doing it in the exact same uh, manner. So first, you're doing the first two terms. I'm just going to, again, put the numbers here, okay? And then you're going to do the inside two terms. I'm doing negative 1 times x, negative 1x. One okay, I'll number it. And negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1. Okay, and I see that I have the positive 4 outside as well. I'm going to keep that the same. So just like this. And now you can put all the like terms together in this final step, okay? So it's going to be x squared minus 1x minus 1x minus 2x here, okay? And 1 plus 4, which is equal to 5. Okay, and let's box our answer. Okay, so the same equation here that we got in the vertex form, if I open it up and expand and simplify, Okay, uh, it's equal to um, y equals x squared minus 2x plus 5. And this is the standard form. Everyone can see that? So this is the standard form of my equation. Okay, 
What we saw for on the other side, this is the vertex form, okay, of the quadratic equation. And again, uh, just like I said before, okay, uh, you have to be very comfortable with uh, changing the quadratic uh, equation from the vertex form to the standard form, or even the other way around. I should be able, able to even change it into the factored form as well, okay? So this is actually very important, okay? Does anyone have any questions here? Okay, that looks good. So with that, let's go to the next example. So find the equation for the parabola. And again, it gives you the vertex. Okay, I'm just going to take this off. And I'm going to write uh, the vertex uh, on the board. Okay, so the vertex is given as negative 2 and positive 5. Okay. So again, make sure uh, when you're plugging it into the vertex form of the equation, you're changing the sign for uh, the x coordinate. Okay, so I'm going to put y equals a. It's going to be x plus 2 squared and plus 5. So you notice that I'm not changing the sign uh, for the y coordinate here. Okay, here the vertex, it's positive 5. And I'm just leaving positive 5 outside the brackets. All right. So this is what I have so far, and it has a y-intercept of 1, okay? So remember, for the y-intercept, the x has to equal to 0, okay? And the y-intercept is 1 here. So our point is actually 0 and 1. So what we're going to do is put in the x and y values. And again, I'm just going to plug this into uh, my equation, okay, for the x and y values. So the y value is equal to 1. Okay, and the x value is equal to 0. So 0 plus 2 squared, whole squared, plus 5. Okay, so this is what I have so far in my equation. Again, I am solving for the value of a. Okay, so I'll put 1. So again, make sure you just break down the steps because this is a simple equation. So I'm going to put 1 equals a. And this is 0 plus 2, which is equal to 2. So let's do a couple of extra steps. Okay, so 2 squared plus 5. Again, it does not matter how many steps you do decide to do. Just make sure you're getting the right answer and make sure you double check your answer at the end uh, when you're done the questions on a quiz or a test. Okay, and that way you can actually ensure that you have the right answer. All right, so what we're going to do now, okay, is 1 equals, I'm going to do the 2 squared, so 2 times 2, which is 4. I'm going to put 4a plus 5. Okay, does everyone see that? Okay, even in the last example, okay, I would make sure I actually break it down further, okay, into more steps. And that's just to ensure you're getting the right answer. In the next step, I'm going to take the positive 5 to the other side and subtract it. So this is going to be 1 minus 5 equals to 4a. Even if you get a fraction for the value of a, so don't worry about that. Remember, if the fraction is less than 1, that just indicates it's a vertical compression. And if you graph out the quadratic uh, function, it's just going to be a lot wider, okay? So I'm doing 1 minus 5 here, which is equal to negative 4. So negative 4 equals to 4a, okay? So just like this. Again, I want the um, value of 4 to cancel out. I'm going to divide it by 4 on both sides, okay? So a is equal to negative 4 divided by 4. So a is equal to negative 1. Okay, so again, I like boxing my final answer here like this for the value of a. But again, the question says to make sure you're stating the equation. So don't just stop there or the teacher will take off a mark uh, if he or she doesn't see your final equation. Okay. And because this is negative 1, I do have to indicate it in my equation. Okay, so I'm going to put, therefore, it's y equals negative 1 and it's x plus 2 squared plus 5. Okay, uh, I'll just write it above here. Okay, plus 5. Okay, this is actually my equation, okay, in the vertex form. All right, uh, let's change this. We're going to change this back into the standard form, okay, so we get really good at it. So I'm going to write the equation one more time on this side here so we can see it. Okay, so this is our equation. Negative 1, x plus 2 squared plus 5, okay, because it looks like the 5 is part of the exponent, but it's not. It looks like this, okay? So again, because it's x plus 2 whole squared, 
I'm going to write the x plus 2 uh, two times here. So we'll put x plus 2 and then x plus 2 plus 5. Okay, uh, one more time, I'm just going to make a line. One more time when you're doing this, make sure you are applying the FOIL method first. I'm going to keep the negative 1 outside the whole time, okay? So let's leave some room. So negative 1. So I'm doing x times x here, so x squared. And keep this in brackets here. x times 2 plus 2x. All right? Again, you can see I am actually multiplying these terms always in the same order, okay? And then third term will be 2 times x, so plus 2x. Okay? And then you're going to multiply the last two terms. I'm going to do 2 times 2 which is equal to 4. And I'm going to close the brackets. Remember, when you are doing the FOIL method, there should be four terms, okay, inside the brackets here. And the 5 remains on the outside, so plus 5, okay? Now, before I distribute the negative 1 out, okay, I want to make sure I put the like terms together inside uh, the brackets to simplify it. Okay, so let's do one step here. So negative 1 x squared. I'm going to put the x's together, so 2x plus 2x, which is 4x plus 4, okay? And the 5 still remains outside, okay? So I like doing this one step uh, in between, okay, to make sure I'm simplifying it, and it just makes it easier to get the final answer, all right? So I'm going to open up the brackets now, so negative 1x squared. So negative 1 times uh, 4x, so negative 4x. Okay, and lastly, we're doing negative 1 times 4, which is equal to negative 4, okay? So negative 4, and I also have the plus 5 still outside, okay? And that remains outside until the very end. In this last step, I can put the uh, two numbers together. Let's write it here. So negative 1x squared minus 4x, and I can do the negative 4 uh, plus 5, which is equal to positive 1. Okay, so I'm going to do plus 1. Okay, so it looks just like this. And this is your final answer. Again, if there is a 1 in uh, front of the x squared, I don't have to put that in there. Okay, uh, teachers won't take off a mark if you do. Okay, so my final answer is y equals negative 1x squared minus 4x plus 1. Okay, so again, this is the standard form, okay, of the equation. Whereas what we have on the right side here, that's the vertex form of this quadratic equation. Once again, make sure you note that both of these equations are equivalent, okay? And uh, I'm just changing it from one form to another, depending on what the question is asking you, all right? All right, so that looks good and it brings this video to an end. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you do like, share, and subscribe uh, to the channel, and I will see everyone next time. Thanks, bye.